All right, so I actually saw four films at Brooklyn Horror Fest this year, but given the strangeness of the first one I saw and the amount of time I want to spend thinking about it, I'm going to wait until it comes out at a wide release on VOD in December. So, without further ado, I'm going to skip right ahead to the closing night of Brooklyn Horror Fest, and that is The Rusalka. The Rusalka is a film directed by Perry Blackshear, the director of They Look Like People, a movie that I absolutely loved. It stars the same cast as They Look Like People, Evan Dumaschel, Margaret Ing Drake, McLeod Andrews, and it tells the story of a mute priest who goes on a getaway to a lakeside cabin, and he falls in love with a mysterious woman who never seems to leave the water. Perry Blackshear is pretty much the king of lo-fi experimental art house horror at this point. He succeeded in spades with They Look Like People, and it's once again exemplified in the Rusalka because this is a lovely, beautifully made film. While it's not quite as viscerally horrific as They Look Like People, it's just as beautiful and just as well made and, and just as emotional. This entire crew seems to have a tendency to gravitate toward very intimate films about relationships of sorts. They Look Like People was a very intimate film about friendship, and now you have this film, which is a film about love. But they both happen to be incredibly honest films, and that is a pretty big feat considering this film is essentially a fairy tale rooted in Slavic folklore. For those who don't know, a Rusalka, aside from being a kick-ass Decemberist song, is a Slavic water spirit, very similar to a woman in white, known for drowning unsuspecting men. Y'all know I love a good bit of folklore, so I was really excited for this movie, especially after this entire crew's first film, and let me tell you I was not let down because the Rusalka was absolutely fantastic. They really bring the Slavic roots of this story to the forefront, especially in the amazing soundtrack by a band called Kitka. Most of the backing tracks in this movie were from the band's album The Rusalka Cycle, several multilingual tracks all about Rusalkas that are just haunting and eerie and so, so beautiful. And they really just lend to the atmosphere this film crafts of this serene, sad, dangerous beauty. Speaking of dangerous beauty, let's talk about the Rusalka herself, Nina. Margaret Ying Drake absolutely steals the show in this film. She's delivering such a unique performance with so much pain and conflict behind it, and it ends up feeling very true to life despite the fact that she's playing a mythical creature. She's interpreting this vengeful water spirit as essentially a normal girl with urges that she's struggling to control. And honestly, that's just awesome. It's such a unique take on a character like this. She ends up becoming the perfect embodiment of the through line of this film about love and loss and grief. Evan Dumichel is also absolutely fantastic in this film, and it's really no wonder that he won the Festival Award for Best Actor. His character is mute, and he delivers so much emotion and so much empathy without saying a single word, all through body language and all through the look in his eyes. A lesser actor or anybody else could make these things feel very empty, but he puts so much emotion and so much heart into these just little looks and gestures, and it's really just truly fantastic. You can tell everything he's thinking just by a look. And it's actually quite common in this movie. There isn't a lot of dialogue. This is a fairly quiet film. The characters all have their own inner conflicts going on, be it Nina and her urges to kill, Al and the all-consuming desire for revenge for his dead husband inside of him, or Tom trying to learn to love a murderous creature. And in spite of a lack of dialogue, all three of the actors do such a stellar job of conveying everything that they're thinking with so little words. There's a fantastic scene where Al, who is played absolutely brilliantly by McLeod Andrews, realizes that Nina is the thing he's looking for, the thing responsible for killing his husband. And there's barely any dialogue at all. But in spite of that, it's such an electric scene, with so much being told just by the looks in Margaret Ing Drake's and McLeod Andrews' eyes. Everything that needs to be said is said without a single word. Now on that note, I do want to talk about the one issue I did have with the film, and that is the sound design. The overall sound structure isn't bad at all, in fact it's really good I would say. But the levels of a lot of the foley and some use of stock sound effects ended up feeling very distracting to me, and felt kind of incongruent with everything else happening in the film. But this is a very low budget movie, and considering how masterfully crafted the rest of it is, I can't really chalk that up as too much of an issue, honestly. Guys, at the end of the day, this film is kind of the opposite end of the coin of a film like They Look Like People. They Look Like People is a very intimate film about friendship between two men. The Rusalka is a very intimate film about love between a man and a woman, or a Rusalka. <laughs> it's a really expertly made film on a shoestring budget with a single location, and I can't help but applaud it, Perry Blackshear, and the rest of the cast and crew, and I'm gonna say that the Rusalka is absolutely a must-see. This really is a fantastic sophomore film from this group, and I, I cannot wait to see what they do next. I really can't. I really do hope they continue to make films along these lines, films about honest human relationships, and I cannot wait for you all to be able to check this one out. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for my Brooklyn Horror Fest saga. Click down there if you want to see more from this channel. Like, comment, subscribe. There's a link down below for a Patreon. If you want to see me be able to improve this channel, 
put out new, better quality videos for you all to enjoy, please consider clicking to poke around, see what you like. Even a dollar helps, guys. I would really, truly appreciate it. And even if you don't, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon.